in the previous video, I asked these questions in relation to making evaluations. So here we'll go through some of the answers. In Teaching Backwards by Griffith and Burns 2014, they say that if learners can't learn the way that you teach, you need to learn to teach the way they learn. So this is a great reason for evaluating, to make sure that understanding has really happened. What to evaluate depends on what it is you wish to find out. So it could be an evaluation of the learning events themselves, or maybe of the presentations and presentation styles, maybe even of the venue and other resources, such as food, refreshments and so on. When to evaluate depends really. You might want to give people the forms right at the beginning of the sessions so that they can evaluate as they go on, or maybe at the end of each day or the end of the event, or maybe even later online through doodle polls or um, other formats. You've got choices on where to evaluate too. So it could be that you give people forms and ask them to fill them in individually and then collect them at the end of the session or the days. Also, you may want them to evaluate later online or even in uh, formats such as nominal group techniques within the presentation series. And finally, how to evaluate. Of course, there are many ways of doing this. It could be verbal feedback, uh, written feedback, online work, um, Mentimeter, uh, nominal group technique, people writing on little post-its and putting those onto flip charts, for example. There are lots of different ways in which you can evaluate the learning outcomes. Thanks for watching. I hope this has given you some ideas for evaluation and obviously there are going to be lots more that maybe you've experienced yourselves and know how to put into practice. Best